Hey everybody and welcome to Stranatech's first video of the unboxing of the soon-to-be-released Logitech G633 Artemis Spectrum. So this is Logitech's newest gaming headset, the wired version, which is a 7.1 channel surround gaming headset which is to be released on September 20th, 2015. I picked this up at PAX Prime as they had a limited quantity for sale. Now let's get this box open. I've been waiting a few weeks to get this video made to actually try this headset out, and a more in-depth review will be released as soon as I have more time with this headset to actually give it a fair review. My headset of choice before I picked up the G633 headset was a pair of Beast by Dre Studio headphones. And from what I tried out at PAX Prime, which was pretty noisy in the background, it did an excellent job at cancelling out most of the background noisy, which was pretty impressive. Now that this box is finally open, let's take a quick look inside at the headset itself and what's inside the box. Here we have the actual headphones themselves and they feel pretty well built, which is one of the reasons why I picked the G633 headset up over some of the other ones that were available at PAX Prime. Right here is the fold away, retractable, noise cancelling microphone, which tucks away pretty nicely where if you wanted to wear the headset out of the house to use as headphones, you wouldn't look like a total fool. On top we have a selector switch where you can choose between the USB input and the 3.5mm input. There are also three macro keys. By default the G1 key is cycle equalizer, G2 is surround sound on off, G3 is cycle lighting effect, and yes, this headset has 16.8 million color RGB LEDs. Why? Because why not? You can never have enough RGB LED accessories. There's also a microphone mute button, and last but not least, we have a volume scroll wheel. Here we have the headband size adjust, which is pretty much standard on all over the headphones. The side panels are also removable, which in the wired version, I really don't see a point, unless they release some custom panels that change the look a little bit, which would be a pretty nice touch if you ask me. But in the wireless version, the G933, which sells for about $50 US more, the wireless USB dongle is hidden under the panels. Now that we have the basic overview of the headphones done, let's take a look at what's in the box. Inside, we have a little blue box that includes the USB cable and the 3.5 millimeter cable. First up, we have the 10 foot USB cable. And because this was an early product launch, Logitech didn't have any braided cables available with this at PAX. I'll told the retail units will indeed include the correct cable, but after a quick chat with support, they have since shipped me a braided cable which looks a whole lot nicer than just a standard rubber insulation on this one. It is just a standard micro USB cable, which is nice, so if you misplace this cable, or your cat or child chews on it, it will be dirt cheap to buy a new cable, if for some reason you don't have 40 micro USB cables lying around your house like I do. Now enough about a USB cable, because we all know what those are. Let's go to a slightly more exciting one, the 3.5mm cable. This one actually came with a braided cable and it's pretty nice. It has a very nice look and texture to it, more preferred than just a standard rubber insulation on it. There's a microphone on the cable for if you do plug it into your phone so you can answer calls on it while you're gaming, or if your computer has a headphones microphone combo port on it, you can use that as well. There's a play pause button a mute unmute switch, a volume wheel for the 3.5 millimeter levels, and a slider switch to select between the headset mic and the mic that's built into the 3.5 millimeter cable. Also in the box, there's the standard warranty and safety information. Hopefully no one watching this video actually needs to read the safety instructions to use this headset. Last but not least, there's a quick two-step process on how to get started using this headset, which is just quickly downloading the latest drivers from the Logitech website and plugging your headphones into the computer. You can get the latest software to work with this headset from the support section on their website, unless you already have other Logitech gaming accessories with the latest updates. In this software, you can change the macro keys on the headset to whatever your heart desires, and get full access to all 16.8 million colors of RGB goodness Thanks for watching the unboxing and let me know if you guys liked it below and don't forget to subscribe so you can see the full review when it's uploaded. Follow me on Twitter and like my page on Facebook so you can win some games like Splinter Cell Blacklist.